Hello. I'm Sammy Davis Sr. I would like for you to meet my son, Sammy Davis Jr. I'll be You know the things I mean. Father takes him fishing, takes him to a baseball game, gives him the keys to the car when he becomes a teenager. When I was a young kid, my father, my dad took me on the road. And as the train left New York City, I remember asking him, where are we going, Daddy? Put his arm around me and he said, we're going into show business, son. I'd like for you to meet the man who really kept his word, my father, Sammy Davis Sr. Thank you. You're together for days. Gotta get the gray out. No, that's my trademark. <laughs> hey, what did you think of seeing uh, Rufus Jones? Oh, Isn't well, that, that take me back. <laughs> how old was I? Now, really, how old was I when I did that? Seven. Seven years old. What place were we playing in New York? We were playing Minsky's. Minsky's? Yeah, Minsky's Burlesque House, 42nd Street. <laughs> And that's when I was in the blackface, right? Yeah. In the car. Was, yeah, doing Jolson. Right. And I used to have the cigars. Yeah. And I was passing you off as a midget. <laughs> <laughs> How old a midget was I, Dad? <laughs> well, you were five then. Oh, my gosh. I, I got to explain that the reason why my dad says that, because I used to do, I was dressed in long pants and everything, like I was in the movie that you just said. Yeah. You never wore short pants. I never wore short pants? From divers to long pants. You're kidding. That's right. You mean you deprive me of the short pants? <laughs> well, if anybody looked at your legs when you were little. That's cold, Dad. No, it isn't. No, that's, that's, that's really cold. That's true. Oh, well, let me ask you something. I don't resent not having a childhood, but did you ever feel funny when you saw other kids, you know, 
do playing baseball and all that jazz and you had a kid in the show business, I've always wanted to ask you. No, it didn't because you used to say all the time, you was a little less when you were younger. You would say, I'm going to be in so business. So business. So business. I'm going to be a star. And here you are today. Make me very happy. Well, you make me You're very good proud. man. You make me very proud. Yeah, of all the people we talk about, when I, I remember when I wrote the book, Yes, I Can, we talked about all the old friends. Name some of the hoofers that were around in your day. Well, I say Bill Robinson was the greatest. There were a team called Covan and Ruffin. Yes. And there was Sammy Van Hurst. Many dancing acts that never made it. Never you made know, it. never made it big. That's the feel, that's the thing I feel when I, you heard me say this, and you know I feel this way. When I do Bojangles, I, I don't feel that I'm talking about Bill Robinson, but I feel that I'm talking about all the black hoofers who never really made it for that's one right. reason or another. I knew a man, Bojangles, and he danced for you. and baggy pants He would do the old soft shoe He could jump so high Jump so high And then he'd lightly touch down I met him in a cell in New Orleans I was Well I was down and out He looked to me to be the very eyes of age As he spoke right out Talked of life <laughs> Lord, that man talked the night Laughed <laughs> Slapped his leg a step He said his name was Bojangles Then he danced a lick Right across the cell he grabbed his pants, took a better stance, jumped up high. That's when he clipped his heels. Then he let go and laugh. Lord, <laughs> he let go and laugh. Shook back his clothes all around. Was Mr. Bojangles, Mr. Bojangles, Mr. Bojangles, Lord, he could dance. He told me other times. He worked with minstrel shows Traveling around the sun He spoke with tears of 15 years How his dog and he They used to travel about But his dog up and died Twenty years, he still breathes. He said, I dance now at every chance in honky tonks. 
for my drinks and chips But most of the time I spend behind these county bars You see, son, I drink so bitter